In this video, we're going to make a contour in the back of the guitar for the tummy cut or belly contour. Uh, the process is going to be similar in getting started. We're going to pick uh, a new plane and we're going to use the method of line and angle and choose perhaps this edge and this face in the neck pocket. And we want it to angle Let's try 20 degrees to start. Okay, now that we've got that plane created, we're going to create a sketch on it. I'm going to look at that sketch. I like to see it this way. And what I want to try to do is I want to actually try to create a very large circle or maybe a large ellipse so that just the very little edge of it clips and intersects the body so that we can extrude and subtract material away in a method that will take a little bit of wood off. If it doesn't work the first couple of times, you just keep at it. There's not really any hard and fast rule with this. It's just a matter of coming up with something that looks right. So we'll try to extrude this and see what happens. And I tend to use rather large numbers with some of the sizes and some of the extrusions of things. What you can see here is we did actually clip a little bit out. It's tempting to try to either do, I don't think I want that any larger in terms of width, so I wouldn't make the size of that circle any bigger, but I would like to cut into the body a little bit further. And I think I'm tempted to just see if I can't transform that sketch and slide that circle along a little bit so it comes into the body a little further. Small movement at this point can make a huge difference. So we'll make that a quarter of an inch that we transform that. Okay, now I don't think I'd want it to cut any more to the left. And I wouldn't want it to cut any lower into the body. And that's pretty workable. We could do that. We could we could keep that how it is. So To re rehash this, what you need to do is you need to make an angled plane off of some fixed reference. It's not going to change. So for the front and the back both, I used edges on the on the pickup pockets because they do form known angles and they're not going to they're not going to change their location or shape. So they're good ready references. The neck pocket, not so much because the sides are tapered and the back is curved. So I wouldn't necessarily use anything off the neck pocket. Um, and this back contour went with about a 20 degree angle, drew a circle. And extruding it, it intersects through and takes away some of the material in the body. If I was going to tweak this at all, if I was going to do anything with it, I might be tempted to translate it and make it move to the right so that it cuts some more material away here and maybe a little less away here. But all in all, not bad. So as you work through with your own shape, refer to the video and best wishes to you.